Good morning, folks. Twas the night after Christmas, and all through the sky, tiny charged particles began whizzing by. The southern coronal hull stream brought them about. Ace registered the impact and promptly cut out. A moment of panic, then it came back quickly, but since then the SDO's been a bit shifty. Data gone, glitches, black lines, and snow, are we just one CME from losing SDO? Hopefully not, but if we are, I can promise that I can rumple Stiltskin the GOES SXI, Proba 2, and Gong H Alpha Network from the National Solar Observatory into the same kind of gold we're used to. GOES catches every flare in coronal hole, Gong catches every filament in sunspot. Maybe SDO just has the flu and we'll need to wait a few days. FYI, we still have our solar flare monitor in graph form, still no more M flares as the large sunspot is confined to C-class range only. Delta potential remains a bit, but the barred spiral shape of the distension is perhaps more interesting. The caboose of the powerful northern coronal hole opening is beginning to turn in. We saw a surge in quakes the last day in rare locations. This one is absolutely ridiculous. Took two wrong turns to get there. And in the part of the world where everything above 4.0 is noteworthy, we had an event that rivals significance threshold for other areas of the globe. Also had a gamma burst from Virgo, which Hook has probably already mentioned in a comment somewhere. Watch for those echoes of genius in the comment section, by the way. This hand belongs to Dr. Dunning from Caltech. He is down in Texas and was lucky enough to miss the killer tornadoes that hit yet again last night. Flood risk is more widespread and set to continue for days further. As you watch the low, primarily responsible for weather later today, know that we've got more observer hands-on photos in a moment. Wind drive is also creating wild temperature swings, record heat in the east, record cold out west. The UK, still on flood alert, and I cannot even begin to imagine when that will be over, low after low directing storms over the islands. Down under, the northern rains continue, while New Zealanders sit between cells and probably should be ready for rain as well. It is just one month till observing the frontier. The observers will gather in Phoenix for round two of what we started in Pittsburgh. Spaceweathernews.com slash OTF has all the most up-to-date information, including the speakers, the schedule for the weekend, links to get tickets, etc. And by the way, if you purchase a senior ticket and a 35-year-old you shows up, I'll be publicly shaming you at the podium before we begin. <laughs> Just kidding. Not really. The ticket links take you to otf.cells.com, which is also where you can get our book, hard copy or electronic. We've got Billy and Tana monitoring the Albany floods, current conditions, and shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.